Although the Guam Education Board voted in November to extend the GFT union contract and continue with negotiations, board member Barry Mead argues it was never done in writing and signed by both GEB and GFT. So why did GEB wait to bring this up in December? That vote was never, uh, if you will, consummated, where uh, amendments made or agreements made to the existing contract must be done in writing, agreed to, mutually agreed to by both parties. So Mead says the entire board agreed to draft a cover letter to go with the agreement to extend, signed only by board chair Francis Santos, and submitted today, December 22nd, to GFT President Matt Rector for his signature. We have given until December 30th for him him to do so, to either agree or disagree, and if he disagrees, then there is no, because technically right now, without a signed, the, the signed agreement to extend our contention of the board and the question that was raised is, is this contract even valid? Is it still in effect? Mead says it is not mutually agreed to in writing as stipulated in the current contract. So he says this proposed agreement is to ensure and let teachers know their contract is extended and enforced. Technically by law, the contract expired November 4th regardless of what the board voted. The board only voted to extend, giving the board chair the authority to do uh, what has been done here. If Rector doesn't sign the agreement, Mead says there is no contract. So does he believe the GFT president will sign GEB's agreement? I have no idea. I know uh, that he does not believe in uh, Section 3102.1 of public law that the board has the authority. The public law Mead is referring to states, quote, the Guam Education Board shall be responsible for all policies that govern the Department of Education. The board shall have the authority to delegate such of its powers as it may deem appropriate, but shall retain the ultimate responsibility for the exercise of its powers, end quote. Mead also argues true negotiations aren't taking place. The proposals that we keep getting from the union are proposals to release people from their teaching time to conduct union business. Okay. We're not doing that. Mead and the board made it clear their negotiations will not entertain any violation of law. And if Rector doesn't sign the agreement, he adds nothing says the board isn't going to negotiate a contract. The sad part here is that should this happen, the Guam Federation of Teachers has no current in-force contracts with any Go Guam agency.